Hey everybody, welcome back to String Man Guitars. We've got ourselves a Samic Acoustic Thin Line Bass. Um, and I got a scam likely phone call. Isn't that cute? So, uh, a couple of issues. On the 12th fret, he's saying he has uh, string buzz. Just looking to see if that fret's pounded all the way in. It appears to be. Um, definitely need, the first thing we need to do is clean up the fingerboard. Alright, so we have um, cleaned up the frets and I um, took a little off the 12th fret that was giving us some buzzing. Uh, next thing is there are some fret sprout issues going on here so taped up the uh, taped up the body here. I'm going to fix some of these sharp fret ends. Much better. mucho better. So now we're going to take some F1 now that I cleaned all the DNA off the fingerboard. We're just going to give this some lubrication, hydration, rub it in, rub it off. See, I notice now that I got some fluid in here, or some oil in here, there's a hairline crack that you can't see. <laughs> Hold on a second. There's a hairline crack here between the fifth and the, I'm sorry, the seventh and the eighth. It's probably just going to take the, uh, the F1 and just absorb right into there. Give it a little bit more. Nothing to worry about. Just you should always use some sort of fretboard conditioner at least once or twice a year. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it back up to pitch and see what kind of truss rod adjustments we need and go from there. Okie dokie. So we are tuning to pitch. And let's see where our relief is. We should be in about 12 thousandths. All this junk out here. my phone. Alright, let's see if we solved that. We didn't solve that yet. Got to solve that yet. But let's see where our neck is. Twelve thousandths. And we want that to be at the seventh fret. Backbone. Now here's the mistake I made. I should have gone and checked the truss rod first before I did anything else. So 
of the truss rod is gooched, then it's over. Hopefully, there's been nobody in there messing around with the truss rod. It's always the first roll when I break it. So, I'm way up here on the screen just taking the uh, truss rod cover off. Looks like it's not ever. Looks like I'm the first one in here. I'm gonna guess it's a five. Five mil. So whenever we do this, we make an adjustment to tighten the truss rod. You want to take it some uh, a bit out of. Uh, Loosen the tension on the strings. Right. Okay, see what I got us. Okay, so we have everything sorted as far as the high frets up here, um, truss rod. I think I want to actually give it a little bit more of a turn, but. Um, The uh, string height, or the, uh, the string height on the, uh, the nut, I can't talk while I'm doing things, it is too high. So we're going to take that down some. I'm looking for 21 thousandths. All right, let's see. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's real good. Okay, that's what I like. Over here. Wait a minute. Now let's see what our string height looks like down here. Five sixty fours, five sixty fours, six sixty fours, and seven sixty fours. All right, we are turning to pitch. All kind of noise going on. Let's see if we're still over. I think, I think, I think I want to bring this down just a hair more. So, okay, with that, we're going to let it sit overnight. Alright, so some last minute housekeeping. I will let this sit overnight. Always want to snug up your, um, the nuts on your uh, tuners. Not crank them tight, but just tighten them up. Um, so a rundown of what we did. We had to, I'm going to leave the uh, truss rod. Um, 
cover off, but what do we do? Starting at the top, what we did is we, we had to bring down the action of the uh, first fret down to, um, to the point where whenever you fret it, it doesn't go wacky out of tune. Um, my choice for that was a measurement of um, 0.021 inches at the first fret. So we got that all the way across. We polished and uh, polished the frets and hit some F1 to the uh, to uh, condition the fingerboard. Then we took down fret number 12, 13, and 14, which were high. Now they play just fine. So the next, so we made this playable, um, cleaned up the body a little bit. We had to put nearly a turn of the truss rod into this to get the neck to the point where I'm comfortable with it. And uh, after doing that, uh, we got some fairly nice action. You don't have to fight with the uh, super hard to deal with action at the first fret. Um, we brought our, by adjusting the truss rod and also taking a little off the saddle in the back on the E string, we are down to 764. We're at 764 on the A. On the D we are at 664 and on the uh, G we are at 564. So very nice playing setup. Unintended consequence. Um, whenever I did um, take some of the, uh, put a little bit more notch in the E string bridge, um, it put it right into, into it intonated so um, the E and the G are uh, intonated, the um, D and the A are slightly sharp, which is odd for an acoustic. Usually you get somewhat intonation, but it's pretty close. I could live with that. So if you guys would be so kind as to subscribe and like my channel, get, head over to Facebook, Stringman Guitars, if you need any work in the uh, Pits greater Pittsburgh area and you don't want to have sloppy work that's overpriced by the big box stores, come on down here and uh, you know either contact me on Facebook or on the uh, there's an email on the videos on YouTube, so let me know. So there you have it, SAMIC LAB-010G. I don't know what that stands for. It's short scale, acoustic bass, and I don't know what the rest stands for. So there we go, we just have to put the truss rod cover back on without losing it. And I'll see you guys later. Take care of your neighbors and uh, do, something, uh, do something with the time that you got with all the COVID. So till next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.